What to do, West Texas? You're listening to Infinity Radio, the only podcast in the 432 bringing you the 411 on hip hop art in the area. I'm your host, Halfbreed. We got us a kick ass show on this episode. Hip Hop Fest is just around the corner. A couple of our guests here will be involved in that event, but uh, let's get going with these introductions, y'all. We done had like, I don't know, damn near every member of Respect is doing this bitch so far. <laughs> but right here, I think we got uh, the youngest member, right? Am I right? Would nah. You be nah? nah you said somebody nah. still younger than you in there? Somebody that? still younger than me, big dog. Already. Hey, y'all, young Pacino. What's happening? What's going down with it, man? Man, just here, dog. You know what I'm saying? Just been blessed. Yes. Working. So y'all getting ready for that uh, that uh, show, right? Yeah, man. Next weekend, as a matter of fact, bro, yeah. we're getting ready to take off up there. That's what's thing. up. Hell yeah. Um, tell me, uh, when did you start rapping? Shit, bro. Karaoke days, man. Karaoke Since, back shit, then. Shit, back in the day <laughs> at my grandma's house. And yeah. Shit. Spitting them tapes out, you know what I'm saying? Eventually work my way up and shit, we're here now. Yeah. So you, you stay in Midland now? Middle now, but originally from from, from Pecos, Pecos, dog. Yeah, Tarilas. shout out Tarilas. That's what's up, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, so you you've dropped two CDs. Or Pacino lands out. Yeah, Pacino lands out, bro. I dropped Tell us about uh, that one. Shit, fire, bro. Yeah, how many tracks you got? Shit, we got about twelve on that whole. Yeah, yeah. Got homeboy from Cali on it. Oh, really? We got the whole camp on it. Yeah, I like the 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 concept, the whole artwork for it and all that shit. Yeah, man. yeah, a little yeah, cartoon and shit. Yeah, shit yeah. was badass. Shout out Nick D, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that motherfucker bad. Yeah, that was bad motherfucker. And Hell then yeah. uh, the other one was uh tattoos and ball fades. Yeah, that one. That one uh, drops in November. Oh, okay, so that one's not out yet. Yeah, not so, out uh, yet. I saw it as your profile pic. I wasn't sure if it was already dropped or not. Or yeah, been promoting. You know what I'm saying? Tracks are already finished, but yeah, we. Yeah. Yeah, we're planning to drop in November. That's what's up. What do you got going on beyond that? Shit, uh, just getting ready for these shows, bro, and, yeah. you know, just staying active. You know, you could catch me out there backpacking it out in the city. You know, I'm always out there just pushing, you Getting know? it, yeah. So when did you hook up with uh, Respect is Due? how that all happen? Shit, bro, it's going about two years now, man, you know? Yeah. I ran into a homie Booster. Shout out Booster, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, shout out Booster. Yeah, I ran into him at a show and shit, and, you know, you got two... Uh, Two uh, bad motherfuckers on the mic to link up, you know, yeah. make shit happen, and you know, open doors, everything has been blessed, bro. That's what's up. Uh, so you also got uh, one of your other label mates here with us. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Shout already, out, homeboy. already, man. What's up, Ramo? Man, Ramo in the building once again, the, man. We're about to get started. You show up at the door. I didn't even recognize you. Yeah, <laughs> I shook my hand. I was like, "What's I was up, dude?" Like a regular person. Uh, and, then I, and then I, and then I go, "What's your name?" He said, "Ramo." Oh shit! I had to take the shades <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, the stunner shades had, threw me all off. <laughs> How you been, man? Man, I've been good, man. Shit, I've been good, man. Bless, you know, getting this money, man. Hustle, grinding and shit, man. Yeah, trying to put it down for my fam and my team, you know. How's the work coming? Man, work is coming good, <laughs> man. This keep on smoking. It's about to drop real soon, guys. For real. Thank you to everybody that's been supporting, you know what I'm saying? So how far completion would you say that shit is? Man, I just need to put two more songs on wax. Really? That's it. That's they crazy. already done. What about you? Got your cover art and everything? Cover art, all that's taken care of. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I'm just waiting for this hot fire to drop, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one of my guests that we had announced, uh, Gidget Breeding, uh, I'll chop it up to a, a scheduling malfunction, but uh, we got uh, one of the artists that's representing that Sosa in the building, y'all. He came in last minute, and I'm really appreciative that he did that. Everybody say what's up to Caleb Fuen, Texas. <sighs> what it do? Hey. Sosa Entertainment, past the sky. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Uh, glad to have you finally on the show. Appreciate it. Been waiting. Yeah. So, yeah. Rep, repping for Stockton, right? Oh, well, shit. Hell yeah. All yeah. the ways it takes. I'm All from the this. No shit? Yeah, See, I didn't I'm know that. Raised here, you know oh, shit. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I just knew you was out there. and I did a lot of moving around shit. I traveled from east to south. Yeah. Back to west. Oh, okay. You know I'm Getting around. I got some miles on me. Yeah, so, uh, so people tuning into the show right now, they you know might not have heard of you. Give us a little taste about what you buy, what you spit, you know, like. Uh, just their play and shit, you know. Uh, yeah. I try to keep it on a real note. Ain't trying to be too flashy with it. Try to keep it hip hop bars coming at you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of shit. Uh, I got that Playaways video out. That was my. That's still my single. I'm working on a new single right now. Mm -hmm. Beats made by uh, Dropout Boy. You know All what right. I'm saying Nick. Yeah. Shout out Nick. Oh, already. Uh, I got a few things under my belt. If you look up when Texas on Google, YouTube, you can find me. Yeah. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, you uh, you got you got a show coming up, huh? 
Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you know, I got a show coming up with Killer Kalyon. Shout uh, out to Killer. That's what's up. Uh, Run it. Yeah. Uh, and then the next show, the date after that is this Sunday in Houston. Uh huh. So back to back should be pretty fun. Taking Ramo with us out of respect is due. Already, man. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, man. Uh, what, what's that spot that y'all doing it at? What's it? Is it a club? Uh, is Aquarium it like a- Lounge in uh, D Town. Yeah. And uh, I gotta look up the other venue name for Houston. I, I don't got it off top. Yeah. But uh, if you look it up, it's on my page. Uh, I'll, I'll put it up as a profile pic. Yeah. Um. So people, how can they get at you? Like, tell us, check you out, listen to your music. What's the quickest way? YouTube, just type in Fuen Texas, F U E N T E X A S. Uh, that pretty much sums up all my videos. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so, uh, if they want to just do SoundCloud. a search, some people don't just go to the link, they go to YouTube and yeah. they want to type something in. What do they need to search? Just Fuen Texas will bring up what? damn near. Fuen Texas, video. just like that, okay. Fuen Texas. There's another video, I spelled it a little different. It's the Chunk of Deuce, I barely dropped with Nino Texas. Shout out Nino, shout out Crook. Uh, that one's spelled with a Z at the end, but other than that, all my videos pop up with a yeah. The other way, uh, other than that, SoundCloud as well. SoundCloud, yeah, right. just Caleb Fuentes on SoundCloud. Oh yeah. Um. So how long have you been uh, rapping now? How? What made you decide to get into it? All that good stuff. Some some background yeah, of where, where it came from. Since I was at Bonham, we was beating on the lunch tables with my ATM partners, Maury and them. Yeah. Uh. Then, I, I mean, I was at a real bad point in my life, and I ran into Joe Torte to show him for Stockton with Magna. I don't remember if you remember okay, that yeah, shit, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. We did that, and uh, I linked up with Joe about a year after that one, and from there, it was a wrap, you know what I'm saying? He, he got me up there, and that's where I'm at right now. Wow, I didn't realize that, that you started from that point. That was a- that was where I took it more serious, you know what I'm saying? I had never been on a real mic before that. It was all freestyle, you know, I never wrote nothing. Yeah. It was a whole different ball That game. show was like a turning point, that, that Magno show. Like, it it seemed like a lot cool. of stuff got like going on different <clears throat> shit. Like, the, the Dropout Boys, it, uh, from what I know, you know, it actually that elevated re, yeah, regained their, their yeah. Uh, uh, involvement, I, I'm saying, yeah. in music. Cause they were, that was probably the first time they met Booster because Booster yeah. went out there like, Booster went out there just to go support. He wasn't even on that show. He was showing love, and then nah, yeah, and then Baker, Shout out Booster, and Baker. Up. You know what I'm saying? Like he went out there. And it was a rap for him for there. He yeah. was out for Stockton. Nah, so. you know what that show was? You know that show was a real big turning point for from what I've heard. Yeah, what you're saying exactly. Like right. for Stockton, it changed like people's mentality yeah. out there. Shit on hip hop. Uh, Fort Stockton's a stubborn ass town, bro. <laughs> yeah. But as far as like us and what we, you know, what we want to do, yeah. To me, I feel like it. You know, I did a lot of good for for the people I see doing music right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. I mean, it was it was a good day. Already, uh, going here to another guest, man. We'll give it back to Caleb here in just a sec. Uh, so, Mr. C. Weave could not make it because he was on call for work. So, shout out to C. Weave. We will get him on the show eventually here, but I did was able to see somebody else walk through the door when we opened up earlier. Homeboy, I was wanting to get on real soon. Didn't think it was going to be this soon, but badass. Everybody, you know him. He's been doing his thing in the 432, Joe Torch. What's good, world? It's your boy, Joe Torch. Joe Torch, past the sky. How you been, man? I ain't seen you much. Shit, I've been busy. <laughs> yeah, been staying busy. to it. Yes, what's sir. what's what's new? What's what's the word with pass the sky? What's going down? I'm gonna say uh, right now it's been a big turning point in all of our yeah all of our life yeah you know what I'm saying uh, but it's looking good <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up looking good that's all I'm gonna say about that it's looking good shit we I'm proud of, shit proud of all our people all the new affiliates old affiliates shit yeah yeah making yeah. moves. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do it for. So if y'all listening, shit, keep listening because we got some good shit for y'all for, um, for real. What's coming out? What's new in the in the world of Joe Torch? Joe Torch, personally, I got yeah. a right now. I'm I'm about to put together about a five track little piece. I've done it before and it and it helped a lot with the with the buzz. Okay. And it also gives me some some good new material to work with that show. So right. look out for that. Um, how can they get that? What's it directly or is there? Do they can they just download it? Shit, or? As, the most direct way possible. Shit, come to JoeTorch.com. Fuck yeah. with me all day, 24-7. And then just mail them out as the orders come in, like so that? or You could you could uh, reach me directly through there, reach us directly through there. Me and uh, almost any other uh, West Texas affiliate shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if y'all want to hit up anybody out here, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? JoeTorch.com. 
Um, how's Craze been these days? Craze always been the big homie. That is the probably my original big homie. Yeah, uh, from Passing the Sky Day One. Shit, same thing. He's a busy man, grown up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stay busy. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that. I mean, I hope he's kept keeping up with what's been going on and everything lately because you know he got off Facebook, so staying connected is a big part of you know keeping yourself motivated to do what you do and you know what I'm saying like I look at all you guys like what are they doing am I still active am I still doing shit like I need to write another so- song you know record like if no one's active I, f- I almost feel like I slow down sometimes you know like yeah. I draw energy from from the local scene you know yeah well yeah. I think uh, I mean Craze has his his super fans straight up yeah Craze is a writer yeah he's a fucking genius so I mean people who know that you know what I mean even if they haven't heard of him in a little while, right. he's probably writing something fucking crazy right now. And he'll hit <laughs> you with it as soon as possible. So just listen up. He, he, he He's at most of the shows. So shit. Yeah. yeah. He rocks the stage. And uh, still. How, how's Falco? Falco. Uh, OC Fresh. Actually, same thing. Just like I said, a lot of us have uh, lately, we've uh, changed up the scene a little bit. And Falco, he's also staying real busy. Yeah. We actually. Recently, uh, we haven't talked very much. I talked to Caleb probably more than any of the other boys. Yeah. Uh, and girls, shit. So, just staying busy, shit. That's what's up, but it's still past the sky all day, right? Every Everything's day. still straight. Oh, yeah. Motherfucking life. So, how does that work with the, uh, the Caleb? Let me come back to you with that, with the Sosa thing. How does that? Because, uh, you know, people are curious. There's like, okay, it's past the sky, Sosa. Is there, is there really, a uh, business relationship Gidget. between you and, and Gidget? And, like, yeah. Gidget is a, is a she's a good friend at first off, you know. I yeah. only fuck with my people. Yeah. Uh really she she's an ad, she she might as well be past the sky to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? She it's just like uh, I'm gonna be past the sky but I'm under Sosa as well, you know what I mean? And under management wise and you she's know, making kinda, some moves and doing she, some stuff yeah, to help you yeah, out. Yeah, she, she she's a busy woman herself, you know. Yeah. But I, I mean I am not gonna abandon ship. I'm right here with her. Yeah. Uh you know, that's how it goes. But we still pass the sky all day, every day. Y'all gonna be uh, holding it down at a hip hop fest, right? Oh yeah, hip hop fest is going down. Shout out DDP. Shout out everybody performing. Yeah. Oh yeah. I did promise everybody out there that there was gonna be a surprise guest. So uh, I guess for the first time ever here on Infinity Radio, we're gonna have the surprise guest being by phone in. So y'all listen in and see who we got. Yo, is uh, can I speak to Michael White? Uh, this is Blanco. Michael White is not here. Oh, uh, do you know where I can find Michael White at? I don't, I don't know that. I don't know that fool, dude. Okay. This is Miguel Blanco, your favorite Sancho. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you there? I'm going live. <laughs> hey, Miguel Blanco, is Michael White somewhere by you somewhere? Mira, I'm going live. Mira, I'm going live. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that shit closer. I can't hear I don't do that monster grinding shit, fool. <laughs> monster grinding juice. Monster grinding juice. He must be on some now monster grinding grind. juice. Now He's on that one. Nah. He's got black or like booty juice. Booty juice? Booty juice, that's it. <laughs> 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 he got black or like booty juice. Where you from, man? I'm from Gorditos. <laughs> you say Gorditos? Gorditos, they say. Gorditos. Gorditos. Baby, by the way. Salinas, baby, at Salinas. I don't know what to say to you now, man. We bump, we bump, we bump. We bump, we bump, we bump, we bump, we Damn, my, my girl would love that. We <laughs> bump, <laughs> we bump, we bump, we bump, we bump, Oh shit! <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, go, hey let's work on that. that right there. Yo, yeah. <laughs> that's the new jam. We are gonna get on that. Beedy, beedy. That's funny. Hey, your name not too late. Somebody wants you on the fucking phone. Hello, hello, what's up? What's up? <laughs> 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 what up, man? That's a good shit. What's good, man? You know what I'm saying? Shit, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, hit my off the grind and go live. What's up? Oh yeah, man. Appreciate yeah, you being yeah, on the yeah, show. Yeah. <laughs> What's good up, man? How you been? To the ATX network with them boys, you know what I'm saying? 
So I'm gonna do with this carbon stuff, you know what I'm talking about? Fucking with y'all out there, no Bessa and Lubbock, West Texas, what it do, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, really? Hey, hey, do. what's the word? You moving to Austin? Yeah, I already moved here. I already moved to Austin. Oh, okay, hell yeah, that's what's up. Now, now I'm close you, to the young motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? I hit a DDP, I was like, shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm closer now, man, stop looking me more. <laughs> yeah, 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 we gotta get you out here for sure. Hey, yo. Hey, how's uh, the TBL Battle League been doing? Shit, man, it's, it's, it's doing good on that YouTube, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, uh, it ain't, uh, it ain't in fucking rotation at the moment, you know what I'm saying? I've been, so I've been fucking with these other leagues, I got, a. Uh, I got an A hard battle August second, and uh, another battle I can't talk about yet. And uh, me versus DDP should be popping off in October. Oh shit! What? I think that's a, you heard it here, folks. Oh. Michael White versus DDP in October. I can't get confirmation. Yeah. I got a holler at DDP yeah. on that one. Huh? Yeah, I got a holler on that one. Yeah, I, I just I just hit him up about it. You know, I don't I don't know if he's hundred percent confirmed with it, but well, if he's hearing this right now, I hope I hope he gets with it. That'd be it might pop off in October. It might go down. Yeah, I think that's what's up. So uh, tell the people, you know, if people who don't know Michael White who listening right now, like when did you start rapping? How'd you start rapping? Uh, I wrote my first rhyme when I was eleven years old in fucking. Fifth grade, I was like, it was during the Christmas break party. You know, you know that party you have in school before Christmas break when the teacher don't make you do work. Yeah. <laughs> it was fucking, uh, I was just, you know, everybody eating cake and candy and all that bullshit. It was like a little Christmas party before the Christmas break. And then I was just sitting on the desk and I was like, you know what? I want to write a fucking poem about Santa Claus and around these two other cats you know, that was sitting next to me. And I'm like, okay, do it, you know what I'm saying? So I, I do it, and it ends up being just something that had nothing to do with Santa Claus. I just started rhyming anything I can think of. And, <laughs> and I and then I fucking just bullshitted a little bit for the first few years I started rapping. And then when I turned 13, I actually started performing every, uh, I started performing at 13. So yeah, 13. I, I, pretty much, I pretty much say I started when I was 13 is when I said, when I told myself, okay, I am still going to be this when I'm 26. <laughs> I'm 26 now, so, yeah, I, I stuck by my word. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what's up. So, uh, what's what's next for Michael White? What you got on the plate next? Well, right now, I got an album y'all can buy. You can play it before you buy it at www.michaelwhite.bandcamp.com. Michael White. Appreciate you talking to you, man. We'll holler at you, all right? All uh, right, man. I appreciate the love. Have a great All right. And for those who uh, don't know Michael White and you wonder who the fuck was that on the phone, right here on the channel, make sure you go down there and look for the Monster Grind and uh, music video. That's me and Michael White right there. If you don't know Michael White, you need to get right. Uh, go on his uh, Texas Battle League, all the battles. Just look up just YouTube Michael White. You'll see some hilarious stuff. The dude's a, a, a great entertainer when it comes to the battle stuff. So make sure you check it out. You know what? Let's, let's call somebody else. I'm kind of excited that we did our first phone in interview. What's up with the Gidget? Yeah, all right, let me get her on the phone. Yeah, right let's see what's up. Well, you can call Shit. your man. Maybe call wife. your girl. In the meantime, you know Raymo, what's the CD? What's what's the call? Let people know. It should again. be online shortly. Oh man, it's keep on smoking. If y'all don't know, you know it's my 
first debut mixtape, man. It's gonna be very, very hot, man. So for y'all boys to smoke to mm. wake up in the morning to a lot of mellow beats, you know what I'm saying? Burn. Burn. Some man, just something to burn, burn to. Feels. Just sit back, drive to, mm. ride to, swing lane to lane to. Don't smoke it. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. talking about, man. Yeah. Respect this dude in the house, man. Yeah, Burn the boy building, ENT. Man. You feel me? Shit, I got some. I got some good. Features on there, man. You know what I'm saying I got my boy Cashmere on there, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, young one itself, Kayla Fuentes. You know yes, he came through on the song, man. Smoking ride. Y'all be looking for that junk, man. It's hot. It's yeah. gonna be on there. It's gonna be chopped and screwed too. So y'all look out for that shit Is too, that man. Chopped and screwed like a, a separate disc or? Uh, it's gonna be on a bonus disc, man. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Keep it playing. Already. That's what's up? Uh, Pacino, uh, yo, the the ball fades or uh, what is it? Tattoos and ball fades. Tattoos and ball fades. Uh, so what? Tell me, what are you shooting for? Like you said, that's coming out when? That that uh, that one's a uh, drop in November, bro. November. Also, yeah. you still got a minute. You still work. Yeah, we're gonna drop that one car show weekend. You know what I'm saying? Ah, we've you been, know how we do it. You yeah, we've do been it. doing that's it big. Weekend. You know what I'm saying? I see you there every year, bro. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, but other than that, bro, we just working, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out every artist in the camp, you know, from Booster to Cashmere to Rainbow. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Love for all y'all. We a family, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Out here grinding, getting us, you know what I'm saying? Doing us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Torch, you was already telling us earlier about the the EP and, you know, just a set of songs that are released. Uh, anything beyond that? It hopes for, uh, like, a full-length album from you in the future or? For right now, uh, I'm, I'm pushing a project that I dropped last, I guess, two Valentines ago. I, now the last romantic, but uh, I think this this it's crazy, five, right? When you think, when you go back and think about, like, damn, it's been two years now. Yeah, like, my shit was two years ago. I'm like, fuck, I need to drop something. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's been, I mean, uh, it's been fun working on this new one for sure. We're gonna go ahead and hit them with the the Good Father. Let's talk about shows. You was talking about the t- tell everybody again for everybody who's in D Town. What's where can they uh, we got spot? The, you know what I'm saying? We got the Aquarium Lounge right there in D Town, and that's this Saturday. You could catch me, Ramo, Killer Calion, my manager so uh, Gidget will be there. You know we repping Sosa, R.I.D. Uh, the other ones up over there in Houston, and that's gonna be at the. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's right there coming up. It's on a Sunday, but it's summer, so I guess. Why not? It's yeah, all right. Why not? Hopping, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to get a live for sure. Yes, sir. Uh, so, we, it's going to be right there at, like I said, and that's actually the 13th, 12th, and 13th, not 11th. Oh, I thought. <laughs> the 12th and the 13th, oh, Sunday, people. Okay. <laughs> D Town the 12th, Ace Town the 13th. Moving it. Yeah, Aquarium right. Lounge, D Town. Mm. And then, uh, Respect his dues, uh, the big Colorado show. The yeah. Whole thing, rolling out there. Yeah, that one's going down on the 19th. Gonna smoke till y'all pass out. Oh, Bang. shit, bro. <laughs> we, hey, one thing about R.I.D., you know, we love Colorado, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's our second home, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we out there, Griff, shout out El Cacho and Paisa Movement, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, man. Colorado's, Colorado's a good look, <clears throat> man. Spent 10 years out there, so it's gonna be like going back to my second home as well. You know, yeah. ready to do this Hell with my yeah. team, man. It's like the first big event that that I'm doing with my team as a team. You know, so yeah, I'm that excited. one that one's going down at the Roxy man. Roxy Theater. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> pretty good. Through. Yeah, pretty good venue. You know what I'm saying? My, you know, motherfuckers out there. Sold up. Already shout yeah, out to man, Park uh, Hill. <laughs> sold a lot of tickets, man. We're expecting a big crowd. You know, King Little G in the building. You know that boy hot right now on YouTube. Yes. You know, if y'all ain't heard of him, y'all check him out. You know, it goes down, you know, big moves or go home, you know what I'm saying? We out here representing West Texas. Oh, Shout great. out Caleb, Bramo, Joe Torch in the building, Spree, Happy. Uh, huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, we got that show coming up right there, like I was saying, in Houston. That's going to be at the Uptown Hookah Lounge. That's at 5706 Richmond Avenue. If you in Houston, Texas, somehow you're hearing this, hit that up. Killer Kali on live, June 13th in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, Dallas area. Like I said, Aquarium Lounge, that's at... Uh, Two uh two one seventeen Evans Avenue. If you over there, hit that up. Shout out to Young Drama out there, A Seals, repping past the sky as well. Hell yeah! Shout out, man. That's what's up. Uh, Torch, anything beyond? We are about this month. Anything you hoping to get going beyond the summer? Or? I was uh booked for a show at the end of this month. Uh, what you talked about right, right. earlier? Yeah. Uh. 
until I have exact, you know what I'm saying? I I see that in writing. I can't yeah, yeah, release I any you. information on that mm-hmm. one, but do you see that? Just, just fuck with me at JoeTorrance.com and yeah, you'll you keep it updated with the show stuff there. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Um, Hip Hop Fest, though, right? You're gonna Hip Hop Fest make an appearance out there, right? For sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get out there early and uh, sing a couple songs, sing right. a couple love songs. Anything new that no one's heard yet? or Actually, I mean, uh, that uh, instrumental I brought you uh, yeah, just yeah. a while ago, that one. Yeah, I want to slow nice. it down just a little bit by 10 BPM, and I want to hit that. I could do it live Yeah. Uh, if we don't have it, if I ain't booked in here with you yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll do that for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, uh, I don't want to bullshit or nothing, so let's move on to the next part of the show. That's what I call what's good in the news. So some shit's funny, some shit's sad. Whatever y'all want, just let me hear what y'all got to say about it. Uh, I was going to do these last week, didn't get a chance to, so they're about two weeks, a week and a half old, stuff like that. This first one, I don't even really want to read it. I just want y'all's opinion of it. The the off-duty police officer that shot old dude at the La Bodega in Midland. Y'all hear about that? They get in the way with that shit too much, bro. That's what I think out there in Midland. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he went in there hey, shooting a uh, the gun, though. Like, Did he die? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I would have shot that nigga. Yeah. He if he would have been I mean, in Odessa, he would have got shot regardless. I'm sitting there anywhere with my, with my I mean, gun. Right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. You better believe that. He ran, he ran hey, in the back and was, and was shooting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if he had a strap, take him down. I, you know what I'm saying? We in Texas. Bro. I mean, yeah. I'm I ain't giving no you know props to no Midland cops either because I've had some bad run-ins with them. Oh, yeah, me too. They ain't the fairest of people. Nah. Yeah. Shout out Midland, though. Just watch the one time. Right. right. Well, <laughs> don't fuck with That's the twelve, man. No bars, Watch the twelve. You know well, well. Speaking of Midland cops, that goes on to the next story here. God this damn. one, is, <laughs> this was uh, posted July first uh, from Newswest Nine. Man behind bars for threatening officer at crime scene in Midland. It says uh, one man remains behind bars in Midland for threatening an officer at the scene of a deadly shooting on Clay Street and sat on Saturday. Uh, Blakely Ford remains behind bars for obstruction or retaliations. Officers working the deadly shooting on Clay Street said they had roped off the scene to keep it from getting contaminated. That's when they say Ford entered the crime scene without permission. The officer approached Ford and asked him to leave the scene. That's when the officer said Ford started yelling obscenities out of him. A justice of the pe- uh, a justice of the peace on the scene says he also witnessed Ford raise his hand like a gun, then state that he was going to shoot the officer for making him leave. <laughs> He's uh, remains behind bars on a fifty thousand dollar bond. <laughs> Man, I mean, like, don't fuck with the police like that. Stupid don't, dummy. Was he don't, drunk? He made it. He made his hands like it was a gun. It says, "I'm gonna kill you." Yeah, right. kill a cop. I mean, Threat. Well, there you go. I mean, I understand. <laughs> understand got, it might have been somebody close or something. That you know, might have been like you know, but, but still, man. Like, hey, I guess hey. on both stories, you know, the cops was you know like, hey, motherfuckers are acting dumb. Man, they ain't man. playing, man. They gonna keep nah. fucking with D12, man. I'm not, saying, they, they are not you playing. Can't, you man. can't throw up the hand pistol and not. <laughs> And not, not get, get jacked up, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Ain't no hand they scared, yeah. they scared yeah. enough as it is, you know, so. Man. Shit. All right. Well, let's do with the last story here. Uh, this is from News West 9. Also, a 12-year-old boy gets maximum sentence for school shooting. This was uh, Roswell, New Mexico. A New Mexico judge has ordered the maximum sentence for a 12-year-old boy who opened fire in a Roswell Middle School gym earlier this year, injuring two students. Uh, after a day-long hearing, the state district judge, uh, Freddie Romero, ordered the boy held in state custody until he is 21 years old. Uh, the boy pleaded no contest to the January shooting. His lawyers had asked that he be placed in treatment for two years and then released if doctors determine he is no longer a danger. Uh, a defense member says the boy was chronically bullied and is socially and emotionally immature and regrets what he did. But, yeah, he's 12 years old. He brought a gun to Jim. Where his parents at? Well, <laughs> you know, off top, if he's feeling remorse for what he did, ain't, ain't no judge, especially at such young, ain't no judge that can take a, a young man's life away like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, as far as his actions do deserve punishment, but, you know. Well, I, mean? I mean, can you imagine that? You're 12 and you're just told, hey, you're going to be locked up to your 21. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And if you he's lost. showing remorse, he obviously ain't out of his mind. Yeah, I mean, doing that to a human, though, you know, like. When they come out, they're it's, not right. Not they didn't. Know. They weren't raised in society. Yeah, you know, exactly. like no human interaction. At least you ain't with the right humans. They're, they're gonna you know be fucked I mean? up adults. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And so. then they're gonna be released, and it's gonna be a repeat. You know, whole nother. It's gonna be another news line. You know what I'm yeah. Any y'all got any uh, feelings on that? 
Shit, keep them in there longer, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got a 10 year old, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't like that shit to happen to me, bro. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I understand. That's that's a bad crime. Punishment for sure. Bro. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Man. But he didn't kill anybody. Nobody died. Thank God. You know, that ain't, that is just that's straight from God. You know what I'm saying? Because it's straight bullet to people all the time, too. Yeah. So ain't no you know, shit's happening repeatedly, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you, you could see it in the news every day school shootings, shit going down every day. It's Man. crazy out here. Yep, crazy. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got a uh, Gidget Yeah, let's, uh, what's up? She, she finally called back. Everybody, Gidget Breeding. What it do, Gidget? Hey, what's up, you guys? Where you so, at? Wait. I didn't hear you, my bad. Tell me again. I said, what happened? Where you at? <laughs> um, it's actually my son's 15th birthday, so I had a birthday party over here at the Coliseum. Yeah. And I thought I could juggle it and go in between, but uh, there was no way. Yeah, no, nah, it's cool. It's cool. No problem. We'll get you on the show here real soon. Oh, yeah, for sure. So how's everything going over there? Pretty good. Pretty good. A lot of kids. A lot of kids? Uh-huh. How y'all doing over there? We're doing good. We're chilling. Just blowing, you know. You know how we do. <laughs> <laughs> Already, that's what's up. Uh, what's the next show y'all planning on? What's the next thing Sosa's going to do? Uh, I got Killer Cooley on on Saturday in Fort Worth and, and Sunday in Houston. And then I'll be bringing him to death, so I just got to get me a venue together. Oh, shit. Uh, hell yeah. I said, will well, y'all be ready to perform? Oh, hell yeah. You know we're going to be in that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. As soon as I get the information together on that, um, I'll be putting it out, out there so y'all can let me know who all wants to come out and, and do a little performance. Hell yeah. You hear that, everybody? We've got a show coming up. Gonna... <laughs> spot, you want spot, you can hit up Caleb. Kayla Fuentes on Facebook or Gidget Breeding on Facebook. Joe Torch as well. Mm-hmm. We could get with you on that. That's what's up. Hey, appreciate you, Gidget. Thanks for calling. Thank you all. We'll talk to you later. Okay, y'all have a good night. Deuce. Bye. See you in a minute. Night. Thank you, Caleb. Yep. Yeah, she good. I could actually man. understand her. I couldn't understand Michael White for sure. <laughs> yeah, no one talking about no one saying that. Nah, he cool. He, yeah, he cool. cool. Shout as fuck, out, Mike. Shout out, Michael White. Yeah, he, he got throat. me from the beginning. I was he like, cool. he could rap. Fuck? You know what I'm saying? He could rap. He could rap. <laughs> yeah, he can rap. Speaking of that, goes right into the next thing here. Let's go around the table here. And uh, usually, I say, you know, what name top three rappers that influenced you or that you're your favorite artist? Nah, not nah, not. Nah, we're not gonna do it this episode. This episode, <laughs> we're gonna do the top three rappers you really feeling right now. Right now. Right now. Right now, who you jamming? Fuck. Uh, I like this question a lot Fuck better. Question. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody now. Fuck. Shit, on the cool local motherfucker. Yeah, yeah who, that's who, real who, tough, who you jamming man. right now? Give, I mean, give me three. Shit. Uh, mainstream right now. I mean, you don't got to break I it down. I fuck with Just Paul me... Wall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I fuck with Paul Wall since I was fucking a kid. You know, and he ain't he ain't never. He's always entertained me. And, you know, that's top of my list. Zero. You know, they ain't too mainstream, but I still fuck with them to the end. Yeah. Uh, shit, as far as, uh, a th- I don't know, man. Um, there's so many. Th- my next choice would be a local dude for sure, man, because I don't see. I look at videos from all over Texas, and I try to get links I can find outside of Texas to underground, underground like we are. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, I really ain't even seen as much work nah. as we got, man. Straight up videos. Know. Music Yeah we got some content I mean we And, got and some just content. the interest yeah. That we got Within each other it, It's beautiful I mean we got a lot of hate Out here But I mean that ain't shit Dog it weaves itself out It ain't even a subject You know yeah. But as far as favorite rappers Man uh, that's that's a complex question You know I'm gonna stick yeah. with that Paul that's, Juan Zero That's cool That's straight I like that Raymo Man shit Who you jamming right now Who I'm jamming right now Man it might sound crazy. It might sound normal, man. But I've just been fucking with R.I.D. right now. Real yeah. Time. yeah. You know, I mean, it don't sound I'm, crazy for nothing. That's, I'm with, I'm with that my team. Right. I'm with my team damn near, you know what I'm saying, as much as I can be. And when we riding, we riding our shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And everybody putting a little but input on everybody's man, shit. And y'all it's, it's, supporting each other. Everybody brainstorming, too, you know what I'm saying? You no, know, it's, what, it's, it's what I'm doing right now. I'm fresh in it, so I got to stay focused. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, I still fuck with my other niggas. I fuck with like Kayla Fuentes, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I checked what out up, your baby? videos and shit. It's just mostly local niggas I've been fucking with, so I'm trying to get, let's see, West Texas literate with the rappers out here. Yeah. You know, I got to do my research, man. So that's what I just been on, you know what I'm saying? R.I.D., you know what I'm saying? And you local rappers out here that don't even know this boy Raymo 
listening to y'all shit, man. I support this shit, man. It's Texas. You know, we all from Texas, no matter where you from in Texas, man. We out here to grind and we out here to put this good music out for these people out here, man, so they can have something to ride to, smoke to, fuck to, hustle to, anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Shit. And that's where it's at with me. Booty hole action. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see that shit about Kevin Gates? That nigga tripping. Yeah. That's another shit. That's <laughs> another, another shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Kevin Gates. Just to let that be known, that nigga cannot rap. Oh, shit. Pacino, what's three artists right now? You jamming? Man, three artists right now that I'm jamming hard as fuck. You know, first of all, you know, shout out Booster. Booster's one of the artists, you know, he goes hard in the paint, dog. Up, baby. That motherfucker bad, man. You know, he gets on that Spanish level and can't nobody fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? The second one is uh, Lalo, bro. He got that hot ass CD that released the beast for Lalo. That yeah, shit right there. I haven't got to hear you. Yeah, that's fuck, hot. Fuck, bro. Right that shit right there. Fire, bro. That's hot, man. You know, shout out Lalo. He'll be on the streets here pretty soon doing his thing, you know? Uh huh. He's jamming that, uh, that, uh, oh, you're gonna do like a big James welcome songs, back party out yeah, there. Yeah, you already know how we do, man. <laughs> Throw a big ass show for the homeboy, you know. Shout out Lay Low. And, you know, third and most of all, you know, shout out Smuck the World, you know. Mm. That motherfucker, he be doing this shit shout for a Smug. long time yeah. out oh, there in really? Moneyland. Hell yeah. You know, those would be my top three, bro. Yeah. That's what it is. Torch, what do you, when you win the ride cruising, you know what I'm saying? What you put on? Other than yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the team Shit yeah. honestly It's past the sky In my dick Yeah, yeah. Check you, man. Checking it All the artists All the, the new material That comes out As it comes in Oh yeah Do they we, get it to you As soon as it's recorded Like hey check it out Check it out And ask for your input Things like that Or do they just come with you Here's my finished product What do you think Shit is different every time mm. Straight up We have home studios We have friend studios uh, You know what I'm saying Like I said A lot of things Have been changing lately So I mean I'm excited to hear new shit from K. You know what I'm saying? We actually uh, he was showing sure. some stuff a while ago that he needs to or he's gonna drop. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Uh, something that's pressed up that I've been jamming is uh, A Seals straight up. Oh yeah, uh, motivational. You know what I'm saying? That real shit. Yo, lyrical shit. Shout out my nigga Pat Fox. R. Yeah, R. R. P. Yeah, mm. rest, uh, rest in peace, man. Miss him. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, his his CD goes hard. Yeah, Pat Fox. Yo. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, everybody, it was time for us to do the giveaway for Hip Hop Fest. As you know, up until Hip Hop Fest on the show, we're giving out a uh, free entry into a Hip Hop Fest with a free T-shirt. We do a question. All you got to do is be the first to answer in the comments or get your answer on the uh, event page on Facebook for the West Texas Hip Hop Fest. <laughs> Feels awkward doing it now because uh, it related to one of my guests who's not here. Thanks, Sea Weave. But <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do it because I can't think of another question quick enough. So here's the question for the episode. Who was Seawee's opponent at the very first West Texas Hip Hop Fest two years ago? If you could name who his opponent was two years ago, which it was a pretty cool battle. I know the answer. But uh, if you can be the first to answer that, you uh, can win you a free T-shirt and entry into Hip Hop Fest. So, uh, yeah, this episode... Flew by pretty fucking fast, y'all. Pretty quick, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything y'all want to say? Uh, you know? R.I.P. Uh, fast. You know, he just lost his life in Fort Stockton. R.I.P. Joey and CJ. I miss y'all, boy. Free my cousin Kubota. Free baby Texas. Free Bravey. ATM all day. Pass the sky Sosa. Yeah. Hmm. No, really. E-Craze. Yeah. E-Craze. I'm, I'm Shout out to E-Craze, man. Him and, uh, maybe him and Booster on the track. That'd be crazy. Young Pacino, I think y'all three wrecked some shit. Already, I'm yeah, down, Yeah, that, that would be a good I'm combination. Down, that makes sense, yeah. Other than that, i just like to shout out Serenity Rain. That's yeah. my boss, my daughter. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out Serenity. Uh, shout out my girl, Dulce. Yeah. See you after a while. Hell yeah. yeah, shout out. You know what I'm saying? One more shout out to the camp. You know, Booster, Nick D. You know, Ray Blanco, Raymo, Cashmere. You know, we deep in a motherfucker, Baker. You mm. know, without God, none of this would be possible. You know what I'm saying? So we out here just... Trying to live the dream, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my wife, been holding it down. We're going on 12 years now, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Goes down, dog. So, so. Shout out to everybody in the building. Oh, really, Shout out man. my wife, too. Sorry. So, so, man, everybody giving major shout outs, man. I just want to give a shout out to my mama, till I love her, you know. Hope you're listening to this episode. I know we ain't talked in a few weeks and shit. Your boy, I've just been busy. Shout out to my sisters that's been supporting me from day one, you know. Shout out to my baby, you know, been holding it down. Driving me to the studio, waiting up them long nights, them studio nights and shit, yeah. man. Not giving me no fuss, man. Just trust That's, it. You know? Hmm. He's a keeper. Man. <laughs> Straight up. 
Uh, R.I.D. in the building. Put over that studio <laughs> life. Uh, Torch, anybody you want to, anything you want to say before we get out of here? Keep Jesus first, you know what I'm saying? Take care of your family, work hard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what it is, y'all. That's, that's what, what it is, is though. Good oh, father. Yeah. Coming soon. Mm. Yes, sir. Respect this dude. We signing off, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. at this motherfucker, though. Hell yeah. Infinity Bye. Radio, episode seven. Y'all ready for this cypher? Hell yeah, man. I was wanted to do it. Man, again. bring that shit on. <laughs> I, was I might fuck up, but I'm still ready. Man, well, bring it on. Episode I'm seven, ready. freestyle cipher coming at you. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This your boy DJ Spree, man. We getting into episode seven. That cipher, you know what I'm talking about? Hip hop for my people, I'ma hit them abroad. Something dope for the fans, we be breaking them off. Keep the peace, let it mix, half breed on point. I smoke nothing but the best when I'm rolling the joint. I be swerving down the ad with the homie Joe T. Shout out to Young Pacino in that R.I.D. So explicit, who is it? If you blink, you might miss it. I'ma smoke it with the salsa, holla at them as Gidget. Half breeding, giving everybody what they needing. Feeding off the energy that I get at every meeting. Block bleeding, speaking my mind while on my grind. Get it how you live if you really trying to shine. Hold I'm gonna get it how I can with the micro bag and grams. I'm gonna wake up in the morning. I'm gonna smoke. I'm on the land. What you know about this? Young Pacino shining gliss. Your boy make a move and I leave a hate or piss. I still don't give a fuck. I wake up and blow the chain. Every time I do a show, I'm hopping in the plane. Now my destination be Las Vegas, Nevada. I still don't give a fuck. Back to Texas with my pockets fatter. You know what it is, boy. Blunt blowing. I still don't give a damn. Now the money keep on rolling. If your ass wants a verse, then your ass got some pay. Your boy Representing West Texas where I stay Man, where I damn huh. stay hey. H-Town is my home oh. If you talk shit, I put that pistol to your dome no. All I need the team. team Yeah, we move mean huh? Got your bitch hanging on my fucking angle lane But I don't wanna Hoes, I don't trust them Nigga over here talk shit, I fucking bust them <laughs> Yeah, young ass nigga Frontliner R.I.D. nigga right behind ya Man, watch me do my thing Man. H-Town is pumping all through my fucking veins Man. I done came down with the gold